Happy automation. Today we are going to see how to make a web scraper when you require custom web scrap for your website. I like how you can see a lot of boxes, but I require to make it a CSV. So I'll make it automation for it. As you know, we'll put a first extract and it will offer and here will be a loop. A loop will make a we will go through the loop, loop on element and loop break for last of this loop. I'll copy its ID and paste it in a loop break. In a loop element will give a factor. We will check its a different panel of form. Here you can see we'll select our first table and we move on a table row. We'll copy its export and move in a loop to paste here. Select your export vector and here we'll give get attribute. Here we'll show get text as we require two attributes. So we'll put here two activity of get text. I will give loop data and press a loop ID. Press a loop ID and it will move on a table data. As you know its first table data mean IP and second table data mean its port number. So we'll give in a description to for IP and then next get attribute we'll give her select profile port give IP and here we we'll give a port and now we we'll connect with the workflow and remember that we will also select her insert to table and a uh, here's the minor change but it's very important you will open her setting of attribute and you will move on a on error on error you will insert a data because I want to insert a data if it has an error we'll put data like a here it was port so we'll put a just empty in a Board. We'll do with the same get text for IP. Select your IP and uh, edit its setting and move on. Insert data and select your IP. We'll put here just empty. We'll connect with its work. Now it's time to test. It's successfully run. You can see it's take a 3 seconds and we'll check its data. You can see her analog in just a 3 seconds. You have been checked her data proxy. There is a lot of proxy. I hope you are understand. If you have any issue with this workflow, you can comment below this video. If you doesn't know how to connect your table with your workflow, you can see in the i button. I also give this workflow in a description.